Hello, my name is George from Australia and welcome to Gaming My Whole Life where I discuss everything video game related from good old past pixels to the birth of 3D until now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Today we have an interesting one. It is going to be a guide on how to start playing video games in 2022, but this applies in the future. If you discover this in 2023, 2024, doesn't matter. Get into the gaming industry as far as simply playing video games is very intimidating. Think about it. If you are not already a gamer, that's why you're here. You're either one of my lowest subscribers, at which point, love you very much. But if you're not one of my subscribers and you're here, you just want to get into gaming. You know, you've seen something you like online. You've, you've enjoyed the music. You've enjoyed the colors. You've enjoyed the graphics, which is what you can see. There's something you've seen that has drawn you here. But I know if you're not already a gamer, it is really scary. Where do you start? There's literally millions of games out there. If you go to any of the video game consoles, you know, whether it's the Nintendo console, the Microsoft console, the Sony console, you know, there's all these games everywhere you go online maybe you have a PC friend who tried to help you out before you saw this video right there's thousands of games where do you start so I thought I'd do um, you know do my community a nice little thing I have a very easy 10 step guide to figure out from scratch what sort of games you like where you can get them how do you go about it right up until the moment where you have a game controller in your hand and you're playing and you feel comfortable and secure and guess what congratulations you are now a gamer my experience is I have been playing games for roughly 30 years now I've been playing it I've been playing video games for literally three decades I have seen everything that video games has to offer so I'm gonna look after you. Now, before we do proceed with today's video, if you were new here, chances are you are. Below this video, there is a red button that has the word subscribe. I would highly recommend you click on that so then you can subscribe to yours truly. So then as you become a gamer, which congratulations, very exciting. As you become a gamer, you can see my videos that I upload here on YouTube. And who knows, I can inspire you and get you excited to play other games. You know, I think that's a very good first step to becoming a gamer is subscribe to YouTubers who are excited about video games. Spoiler alert, I love my video games. This is a great place to start. With that being said, thank you for clicking my video. Let's do step number one out of the 10. Let's make you a gamer already. I'm very excited for us both. Number one. Alrighty then, so number one is a very easy one, but I feel very important. Avoid online games. So when you play video games, you have two options. You can play by yourself where it's just you on your computer, on a video game console. No one else is playing with you and you are not playing online. Using the power of the internet, you can be connected to literally millions of other players. That being said, as a newcomer, I highly recommend you do not play online. Online is a very competitive um, area. There's a lot of very skilled, very, very skilled players who have a lot more experience than you, and they're going to give you a false impression that video gaming is just too difficult. So don't start with online games. All that would happen is you would jump online, everyone would beat you within seconds, it will diminish your confidence, and you'll walk away from gaming, and we don't want that. Now, let's go to step two. Number two. Alrighty, so number two, there is a reason why you are here. You have heard something. You have seen something that made you interested in games. Think about it, take a step back. If you haven't already, I'd actually highly recommend you have a notepad beside you so you can jot notes to yourself. What is it about gaming specifically that intrigues you? What mental image? You have a mental image in your mind. You have seen something somewhere or someone has said something to you that has made you get interested in video gaming was it did you hear lovely music did you hear lovely sounds that just made you excited or made you all calm did you see something that just looked really cool like maybe it was an action game what did you see what did you hear this is for you to figure out something brought you here what aspect is it that intrigued you and this is important because number three, step three, will guide us. Number three. Alrighty, so number three, you are certainly spoiled for choice. That's what's awesome about gaming. You can have it however you want. How do you want things to look? There is that many options. 
Do you want your game to be 2D? 2D means side scroller, nothing's rotating, it's all pixel art, right? It's all 2D, it's the original Mario games, it's the original Sonic games. Is 2D what you want or is it 3D? Chances are you're going to want 3D because that is the most popular one. It's like, all right, cool. We want 3D graphics, awesome. What perspective seems the most fun to you, seems the most least threatening? So let me show you what options you have. With the land of 3D, with 3D games, you have roughly three perspectives. You have the first person perspective, which basically means you can't see the 3D character you're controlling. You are experiencing the world through their eyes, so graphics are really close. Normally you can see some floating hands or holding a gun of some sort. The next option is called third person perspective. That is your character who you're controlling. You can see them on the screen from head to toe. You can see your character running around. Does that seem more appealing to you? If you're playing a game in the style that you like, do you want to actually see the character and what they're doing? Number four. So number four, once again, you are spoiled for choice. Where do you want to play? It is up to you. If you want to play your video games on your PC, on your computer, that is an option. If you would like to play on your mobile phone, that is an option. If you have a tablet, you can play on that. Or would you like to play on a video game console, um, which I'm sure you know what video game consoles are. Decide which one you want. Personally, because you're watching this video, I would highly recommend a video game console. If you get a PC, um, errors can happen, mistakes can happen, it's, um, it's a little bit less user friendly. If you get a video game console, which at the moment there is the Nintendo Switch, there is Xbox, and there is PlayStation. You get one of those video game consoles, they are the current, they are the latest. It will be easier for you and less instructions are needed. Out of those three consoles I just suggested, if you wanted to be guided further, I would most likely recommend the Nintendo Switch to be your first video game console. It is simply easier to set up. There are more user-friendly video games on there, and um, I believe it's more suited towards your needs. Also, you can play on the TV as per traditional video game consoles, or you can play it on the go. You can literally pick up the console, which has an inbuilt screen, and play it on the train or bus, so you get more bang for your buck in that respect. It is graphically the inferior console, which means the other video game consoles do bigger, shinier graphics, but considering you are starting out, this really shouldn't matter to you that much. Good job reaching step five. If you're still with me at this point, below the screen, there's a red button, has the word subscribe on there. Please consider clicking it as I mentioned at the start of this video, just that way you can find my content easier going forward and it will really help me out. You're going to see videos that get you excited about even more games. And that's what it's all about. With that being said, let's continue to step five. Number five. Alrighty, so welcome to step five. This step is very important. We are discussing video game genre, genres, right? This means video games come in types, just like movies, just like TV shows, just like music. There is something for everyone. And the best way to figure out what genre you will be interested in for video games, this is very helpful. This will help you filter through all the millions of games out there to find a handful that you will really enjoy. Genres are very important. Think about the feeling that you want games to give you and the reason in question two um, as to why you're even on this video in the first place. What do you want to feel? Do you want to feel a rush of excitement, a feeling of empowerment that you can take on the world? Or are you after something that gives you a calming experience and acts as the ultimate escapism? You know, is your life a bit stressful right now and you just want something to calm you down? Are you after something comedic? Are you maybe a horror fan? Do you enjoy those horror movies? Guess what? This may come as a surprise to you. We have the genre of horror in video games. We even have one called survival horror. So you can have blood, guts, you can have all that stuff if you're into it or if you want all colorful or shiny, all inviting, we have that as well. So think about it. What do you want to feel? Why are you here? There is a feeling that excited you, that got your interest. Write it down on that notepad as I said, 
what it is you want and we can go after it right now. So let me give you a couple of examples which I feel will help you out. If you enjoy hidden things, if you enjoy action, if you want the empowerment, if you want to feel like Neo from the Matrix, right? If you want to run around a game and beat up hundreds of people for no reason, that would fall in the action category, right? So you like action games. If you want to be strategic, if you want to use your mind, if you want to think and, you know, defeat and accomplish puzzles and so forth guess right you like strategy games that is a category if you want something nice and peaceful and loving and bright and all that sort of thing well then you would probably like 3d platformers so there's a genre for everything number six alrighty so number six it is time to get our feet wet ever so slightly don't worry don't get anxious this is fine you're already on youtube right write this down on the notepad obviously i can't let you leave this video yet but when you're done with this video what you're going to do is you're going to go to youtube and you are going to look up video game gameplay gameplay is when you see someone playing the game because so far we've figured out the type of game we want we know the perspective we want the game do we want to see through their eyes or do we want to see their whole body or do we want it to be a 2d game we know that we know the genre we want if we want it to be action if we want it to be 3d platformer or car racing or strategy or horror or survival horror or whatever you into we know these things right so we are going to use that and we are going to put in the search term for example i have written here if you go to youtube and you go to the search box you can type in 3d action games 2021 and hit enter what that will do is that will give you a bunch of dedicated videos that show you action games 3d action games and we have the word 2021 there is because youtube has a lot of videos and we want to filter things down right we want to compress we want to narrow it down we want to be specific and successful and we've just entered 2022 maybe by the time you come across this video it's further along but right now it's only um the start of february right um, there isn't many games to look up. If you type in 3D Action Games 2022, you're going to get a list of upcoming games. So in other words, games that have not even come out yet. But that's not what we want. I want you to be able to game by the end of this video. So 3D Action Games 2021. And if you're not interested in 3D Action Games and you want 3D platformers or horror games or car games or strategy or whatever, just replace the word 3D Action with whatever genre you're interested in. Hit enter and you can watch people play. That is people who have already gotten the games and they're playing it and they've just recorded it and they're sharing it in the world with the world. That way you can get a better idea of them and you will get the names of the games. So if you watch these videos and you like what you see, awesome. Write down the name of the game on a notepad and you can make yourself a little collection. Number seven. Alrighty, let me help you out with some mumbo jumbo um, terms, right? Because there's going to be a lot of names you hear that don't make sense, and that's fine. You haven't experienced it before. Don't feel dumb. Don't feel dumb. Don't feel frustrated. You're new to this game. That is fine. Of course, you're going to hear terms that you're not familiar with. So let me help you out for number seven. So, for example, if you buy a game online, if you've decided to become a gamer either on the PC or a video game console. If you go to an online digital store and you buy a game, which is an option, mind you, we call that a digital purchase, right? Because you digitally bought it, you get the game. After you buy it, you will be prompted to download the game. Do so, you've just bought it, you download it onto your PC or your video game console, hopefully video game console and hopefully the Nintendo Switch as I recommended. And then the game is on there awesome keep in mind though that even if you go to a store say you go to eb games or you go to jb hi-fi or wherever whichever country you live in if you go to a store and you buy a game and you have the physical cd or cartridge that makes things a lot easier you can go ahead you can put that in the game console but and it will install even with that though, because we live in 2022, there is a high chance the game will prompt you with an update. Now, don't worry, the update is normal. Almost every single game, even day one, 
has an update. So yes, you have the majority of the game on the CD or on the cartridge, but it'll probably tell you to do an update and I do recommend you do it. Some games outright won't work if you don't do the update and the update simply makes the game more stable, more, more safer to just put it really simple. You want to do the, all the updates so then you can play your games. Number eight. Alrighty, we're up to number eight, and I just want to say already I'm quite proud of you. You are almost there. You are almost there. I'm about to hold your hand and put you into your first game world. So be excited because I certainly am. All video games start with what we call a start menu. So when you boot up a game, when you open it, when you turn it on, you will be hit with what we call a start menu. You will literally see the words start on the screen and you'll normally see other things. You'll see the word start, you'll maybe see the words multiplayer on there, but normally it's the word start or options. All you want to do or continue or load. All we're gonna focus on is the word start or it will have the words new game. Whether it says start or new game, if you're on PC, click on it with your mouse. If you are on console, use your thumbstick, your left thumbstick on the video game uh, controller to go up so then those words are highlighted hit the X button or whatever buttons on your controller to select it the reason why I'm taking you through this bit is a lot of games have what we call another term for you to be familiar with difficulty settings now difficulty settings are wonderful they decide how difficult a game is now you are new you are a new guy or you are a new girl so what you want to do is choose the easiest setting. A lot of the times it literally has the word easy on there or beginner, something along those lines, and then the word normal or the word hard. You wanna do the easiest. The easiest is the best thing to start off with so then you can learn the ropes. It means enemies will be less aggressive. It means the game will be more forgiving. It means you will enjoy it more to be frank. You don't need to understand more than that. Choose easy. As your skill level in video games goes up and with time it will then later on you can select normal and hard but please select normal to select easy to start with number nine okay number nine you are in the game don't freak out you've done well you are in the game world nothing is happening and that is fine the majority of games start with what we call tutorials um, if you're familiar with English language, you should already know what a tutorial is. On the off chance that you don't know what it is, it is a step-by-step -step guide. Like this video. My video today is a tutorial on how to start gaming. I'm taking you step-by-step, -step, and we only have one more step, you're almost there. Video games often do the same thing, so it isn't this big scary place where the video game expects you how to know how to do things, it normally tells you step by step by step what to do. So your job is to just be calm and follow those steps. It's okay if you make mistakes. Video games are designed for you to make mistakes on purpose. It's like a safety net, right? Don't worry, it's okay. Follow the instructions, don't get frustrated. If the screen prompts you to press a button, it's okay to look down at the controller and learn where the buttons are and do as you're told. Have your notepad there so you can help yourself out. And some games, don't get scared, but some games don't have tutorials. Most do, but some don't. That's okay, there's some rules that all video games follow, right? They all follow the same rules. So if you have a video game controller, I'll just grab mine. So this is your typical video game controller. The vast majority of them look like this. You have these, which are called thumbsticks. You can move them around. So they move, both of them. Normally there is two thumbsticks. Now, in all games, in playing, in case you're playing a game which doesn't have instructions, the left joystick, this is normally used for movement. So regardless if you're playing in the first person perspective where you see through their eyes, or if you can see their whole body from head to toe, this is normally how you move. So if nothing's prompted you, it's okay. With this, push it up. So from your perspective, this is up, right? This is up. This will make your character move forward. Move down, move left, move right. Okay? 
So use the starting of a game to just walk around, right? You hold it like this, you hold the controller like this, right? See how my thumbs are there? And put your left thumb on the joystick. This is how you will control it, and this will let you get about. So that's rule one, right? Pretty much all games, you move with that. And this, and the right joystick for your right thumb, will let you control the camera. It will control the perspective of what you can see, or it will let you look around. And the buttons is different for every game, right? So if the tutorial is not there, just press the buttons. It's okay, the game character will do things. You will never accidentally press a button that kills you. You don't need to worry, right? It's it's okay, I'm, I'm here for you. Sometimes the tutorials are not there, the majority of the times they are, but if they're not, the left joystick will always move you, the right joystick will always help you look around, and you press the buttons one at a time to see what happens. Let's go to the final step. Alrighty, step 10. Congratulations, you are here. Step 10 is teaching you about your mind, right? And this, this may sound a bit weird, but work with me. You are now a gamer, you can now start playing your video games and what's important is to understand that when you play games you will lose you will die you will feel frustrated that doesn't mean that all games are frustrating it doesn't mean most games are frustrating and it doesn't mean that the game you're playing right now that you're feeling frustrated it doesn't mean that feeling of frustration will persist it will go with time but what all gamers know is that all games have a learning curve they all have a learning curve, right? So you need to be comfortable. You are in the world of gaming. The video game will not judge you. There isn't going to be pressure. You can die and lose and repeat the game as many times as you need until you learn. And don't feel embarrassed. Do not feel embarrassed. It's okay. This is your first journey. This is your first voyage. And I guarantee in the future, whatever you're struggling with today, you are going to easily overcome in the future. So enjoy the world of the game you're playing. Enjoy the music. And if you get stuck, if you just you don't know what to do, it's okay. We live in a digital age. Go onto Google and look up video game guides. So just type in the name of the game you are currently playing and then literally the word guide after it. You will get written articles, you will get videos on YouTube, for example, showing you step by step how to do things so you never need to worry about feeling dumb you're not dumb all our brains work differently and sometimes we need help if you go online there is always help but what's important is that you're here you're wanting to have fun and that's what you should absolutely do also to help you get in the mood is find video game youtube channels right that are positive like myself again little red button on the bottom has the word subscribe there Hit the subscribe button so then you can help me out. Follow those who are excited. You now know the video game console or PC you want to use. You now know the type of video game you like, right? With that power, you can look up people who are excited, who are passionate, who are helpful about the games you are about to get into. Not only will we be able to help you and we will guide you, but we will help introduce you to new upcoming games. New video games are coming out all the time. It is now the largest industry entertainment industry in the world, right? Video games are coming out every single month and you don't need to worry. You don't need to feel nervous. It is not your job to keep up with what's coming out. But YouTubers such as myself, we do. We look up all the upcoming games coming. So a lot of my subscribers have learned about games through me because I got excited, because I got passionate and I did a video on it. With that being said, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you all live on this big blue planet of ours. God bless you all. Take care. And I'll see you for the next video here. Game in my whole life. I release multiple videos every single week. I'll talk to you down below in the comment section. All right. Bye-bye.